I'm still a young man. I, I don't want to throw my life away just because you have cancer. Hi, honey. How was your day? It's okay. Leah, are you ever going to do these dishes? Come on. This place is gross. I, uh, what have you been doing all day? I'm sorry. I just I haven't been feeling good and I, I have no energy and I don't, I don't know. Well, I'm getting a maid. You know, this is ridiculous. No breakfast. Again. Awesome. You know I'm not feeling well. Yeah, well, everyone gets sick sometimes. It doesn't make them, you know, forget to do their job as a wife. Look, I make all the money around here. I deserve a little bit of nice treatment at home. I know this is really hard, but right now I just need your support and your patience. Okay, well, you know what? My patience has run out, all right? I am the breadwinner. I've been working my tail off every day. And I come home to dishes in the sink, clothes everywhere, no intimacy for weeks. I mean, I thought having a wife would make my life easier, not harder. All right, I am a man and I have needs. Fred, I understand what you're saying. I, I really do and I'm sorry, but I have a doctor appointment tomorrow and you know, hopefully they'll figure out what's wrong with me. <laughs> well, the doctor better have a cure. I'm over this sickness. Trust me, so am I. I better go to the store so we have something for breakfast. Fred. Fred. Hey, baby. It's, it's Friday night. What do you say we stay up late and have some fun? Honey, I'm, I'm really not feeling well. <sighs> Honey. I, uh, I just got back from the doctor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what did he say? Well, um, he said I have ovarian cancer. And, um... Oh, well, my God. While it's treatable, it means I'm, I won't be able to have children in the future. Oh, no. Leah, this, this isn't going to work out. What are you saying? I'm saying that this relationship isn't going to work for me anymore. I'm still a young man. I, I don't want to throw my life away just because you have cancer. I want children. And I, I want a wife who will be able to take care of me. Like I don't think that's too much to ask for. I'm going to stay in a hotel tonight. And I think that tomorrow you should start to find a new place to live. Why are you being so nasty? You're my husband. You said in sickness or in health. No, no, no. This is my life we're talking about. Okay, look, I am not a bad guy, but I am not going to end up with a lemon. You would do the same thing if you were in my shoes. No, I wouldn't. Well, I've said all I have to say. Tomorrow I want you out of the house and out of my life. Fred. Fred. Fred, what are you doing here? Hey, Leah. It's really, really good to see you. I've been thinking about you a lot recently. You have? I know things didn't end up great between us, and I acted in some ways that I shouldn't have. But I miss you, and I want you back. <laughs> Is everything all right, honey? Yeah, um, everything's fine, sweetie. Um, Fred, meet my new husband, Greg. He helped me get through my sickness, and you know, he's the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I, uh, well, I don't know what to say. Fred, you abandoned me when I needed you most. Because I couldn't cook, or do the dishes, or couldn't be intimate. Because you didn't have the perfect dream life. I was really sick, and you kicked me out of the house. I hope no one ever abandons you like you abandoned me, Fred. So, goodbye. Wait, hey, if you just have to...